one of the most important things that that I've learned this week was how valuable and how important family is. Hey guys, welcome back to Detail Television where we do everything to accomplish in love. Don't forget to like and share the video. Comment below if you want to interact with me and hit the subscribe button if you want to be part of the family. With that, welcome to Reflection Sunday everybody. Hope each and every one of you guys had a good quarantining and social distancing week. It's our second week guys, I feel you. Actually this week I was sick so I wasn't able to go to work and no, 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 no. Do not have the coronavirus, relax. As you guys know, I'm a nurse. And so, you know, being in a field like that, um, it is very important that if you have any of the signs and symptoms like shortness of breath, coughing or temperature, then you should stay at home, get yourself in harm's way of this pandemic that we're in. So, but I am feeling much better. And so with that, hopefully all you guys participated in the challenge this week, which was do remember. Um, obviously I had a few days to remember and reflect on you know, this week one of the most important things that that I've learned this week was how valuable and how important family is sometimes you know we take them for granted we we just work we go home we play we do the same thing over and over and sometimes families are involved in it but sometimes they're not and this week it's, it's taught me that the insignificance of other stuff it's made me think about my mom a little bit more my my sister, my, nie my niece, my nephew, just just those times when you can just go visit them without even thinking, but now you have to think about them like that in a different way. So that's taught me a little bit or remembered a little bit. And then obviously like your friends, just as simple as going out after work or meeting up at the gym, playing basketball. Those things are things we took for granted. So I know once we pass this and, and we get through this, it's gonna give me and hopefully give all of you guys and myself a different perspective on on how we treat each other so yeah and then also you know remembering your job a lot of people has uh, you know have lost their job in this in this time which is very unfortunate but it taught me how to appreciate my job and what I do and in helping people and it's a very important role and you know many of you guys also have you know important roles at your place so always remember that and if you are a you know, medical personnel, nurse, doctor, social worker, policeman, fireman, whatever it is that you do, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do because you guys are the ones that are in the front lines dealing with these things. So we as people at home, um, we are thankful for you guys, you know, for being out there, you know, because we're getting hit really hard, you know, specifically in New York. I don't know if you guys watch the news or anything like that, but you know they're having such a such a hard time containing this pandemic that they're having um, that they're you know experiencing over there as well there's just a lot of younger kids you know unfortunately younger kids they're out in you know florida partying and stuff like that and they don't really understand the consequences of potentially spreading you know the virus and stuff because they'll say oh i'm, I'm healthy i'm never gonna get sick but that's not the that's not the issue it's it's you potentially carrying it to somebody who else is who's more at risk then they get sick and so yeah if we can just do our part let the medical personnel do their part let us do our part and you know and we will get through this so those are some of the things that i remember this you know this week and hopefully you guys were able to do that as well and reflect and with that which leads me to this week's do it challenge do enlighten get knowledge and understanding about the situation. Um, I know a lot of us don't know too much about COVID-19. So before you go out there searching on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff, I encourage you guys to enlighten yourself or educate yourself on looking at the proper sites like cdc.gov. They're actually at the forefront of all this. They're the ones who are telling us what to do and they're the ones who are you know, keeping tabs of where things are happening. So please do that. And then also, enlighten yourself. Whether you're at home, 
Um, well, you should be at home reading a new book, uh, learning how to play a new instrument or something. This week's Do It Challenge is Do Enlighten. Uh, it's also a good time to meditate, actually. Every time I think of the word enlighten is meditation, which I think I need to start doing also. With that, I did want to go to my top three shout outs this week. As you guys know, I do give shout, shout outs uh, every week at the end of my Reflection Sunday of these three content creators who share the same message um, that I that I put out there, you know, to do everything to accomplish in love. First family I have here is the RN's family. Uh, two ladies from Jamaica. Hey girls, very funny. They always comment on my video and I always comment on theirs and they, they interact with me a lot. They do a lot of, uh, you know, they did mukbangs and stuff and um, makeup with, while blindfolded, which I think is very, very funny by the way, guys. Fortunately, I can't do it because obviously I'm not gonna put makeup on myself. The second family or the second content creator is powerful motivational speech. Uh, this individual is, is, is super um, motivational, obviously from the, from the title. But yes, you know, anytime I, I need something or uh, his stuff um, goes on my feed, I, I watch it and obviously I comment on it. And, and again, it's the whole engagement and interaction um, that I think that stands out with these three uh, individuals. And then which brings me to the third one, which is Yo D, here he is. Same situation, you know, he comments on my stuff and I comment on his, and this is what the message it's all about from the very beginning guys you know like I know this whole YouTube thing is it looks enjoyable and it looks fun and all that stuff but it's even more fun when you have individuals like this that's constantly supporting you and, and connecting with you and so that is the that is the dream um, you know for this channel is is to interact with you guys and show you guys a different part of, of people's lives and so I think you know these three individuals because they they do um, uh, share the same message that I do, which is do everything to accomplish in love. And I think they love what they do, and so I hope you guys enjoy their content uh, just as much as you guys enjoy mine. And with that, uh, we are almost at 500 subscribers. Guys. Amazing, isn't it? I never thought. Well, I did actually think that we were gonna get to this number, but not this fast. Uh, and so. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support from all my families, from my new family. And if I have not subscribed to you yet, please comment below and call me out on it and say, hey, Detail Television, you didn't subscribe to me. And I will change that. I will subscribe back to you because I'm all about that. Sharing and spreading the love. So see you guys next week. Hopefully all you guys have a wonderful week. And I will see you guys next time on Detail Television. Love you guys.